Hi, it's Wallace. It is day eight of NaNoWriMo. That's kind of blowing my mind a little bit that we are already a week over a week into it. Three days ago, I did a 10,000 words in one day challenge and it kind of kicked my butt. I completed it, but then the last two days I've just been super... <sighs> okay, I don't want to sound super ungrateful because I want to say I've been unproductive, but I've made my word count goal for each day, so that's not that unproductive but I've been unproductive in other ways like I had a test I was supposed to be studying for and I got some studying in but not nearly as much as I would have liked. I needed to take a day to get out of the house, change up my scenery, and I figured this would be the perfect time to redeem some of the rewards that I have earned by writing certain word counts. So first things first for getting 15,000 words I said I could come and eat at my favorite breakfast place which is a uh, place called Snooze. I'm gonna work on my nano story while I'm at Snooze and then after that I'm gonna go and see if the Barnes & Noble by my house has reopened after the tornado and if it has then I'm also gonna redeem my rewards for hitting 10,000 words and 20,000 words which I hit yesterday and the rewards for those two goals were to get a new book so I'm gonna get two new books at Barnes & Noble and also I think I might just get a coffee there and study for a few hours until I feel like I have a little bit more of a handle on the material that I'm gonna be tested on tomorrow so that's the plan for today I'm very hungry so I'm gonna head into snooze and I'm gonna get something delicious it's a gorgeous day here it's super chilly and <gasps> the leaves on the trees are starting to change. I, You know you're in Texas when you don't start getting leaf changes until <laughs> mid-November, but I'm very excited all the same. Okay, that was so good. I also got a good amount of writing done for the amount of time I spent in there. I think I got about 300 words. I'll insert how many words I actually got just because I can't remember. But now it's time to head to Barnes & Noble and see if they have power. Barnes & Noble is open. Although it looks like the tornado turned it into Bernese and Obel. Puppy. <laughs> Delayed response. Hi. Hello. <gasps> well, <laughs> trying to get the turkey? You trying to get the turkey? You're a turkey. My trip to Barnes & Noble was actually quite productive. I read a lot and reviewed a lot and um, I finished up my practice problems but I still have a little bit more I need to read and then there are some videos, uh, lecture videos that I want to rewatch. So I'm gonna do that now and then at five o'clock, Becca C. Smith is having a live stream and I want to join that. That means I have about two hours to get another good chunk of studying in. It's 4.57, which means there are just three minutes until Becca C. Smith's live stream. I'm going to participate in that, take a break from studying economics, I'm debating if I'm gonna participate for the full two hours or if I'm gonna use some of the writing sprints in the last hour to study instead of write. I think it'll all depend on how much writing I get done in the first hour. Hi everybody! Hi guys! <laughs> Okay, the first sprint is over. We are just now starting the second. It's gonna be 20 minutes and I think this might be my last sprint for the day and even if I don't reach my actual nano goal, just cause I need to study. <laughs> These are the consequences when you take entire days off like I did yesterday. Okay, the sprint is just about to end and I think I'm gonna end the day on 1,277 words. I'm gonna continue watching the live stream, but just whenever they sprint, I'm gonna study instead. I just think that's gonna be a better use of my time right now. Especially since I am approaching a part of the story that is making me very nervous and I think I just need a little bit more time to sit and stew and think it over. Before I ended today's vlog, I just wanted to go over which two books I got as my reward at Barnes & Noble. 
The first book I got, I've been seeing all over BookTube and people have been saying it's good. So it's called Ninth House by, oh gosh, Lee Bard Bardigo? <laughs> I don't know. And then this is a book I've wanted for a really long time. It's nonfiction, obviously. It's just, uh, it's 1,000 books to read before you die. I've wanted it for a really long time just to go through and get ideas for all the classics that are curated in here. I've just had my eye on it for a while and I thought it would be the perfect book to give myself as a reward for hitting 20,000 words. So those are the two books I got. But that's going to be it for me today. I hope you guys had a fantastic day eight of NaNoWriMo. And let me know in the comments what your rewards are and if they have been motivating for you or if they kind of you forget about them and you don't even redeem them. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.